Hi everyone and welcome back to Brian's Business World. Today we're going to talk about the fallacy of self-comparison or if you like why engaging in self-comparison or comparing yourself to others is a complete waste of, of your time and how you can manage it. So first of all I think human beings uh, are hardwired in some ways to compare themselves to the group. Uh, now, back in ancient times, around the campfire, uh, even pre-civilization, people constantly compared themselves to the group. Uh, later, in cities and towns, uh, compared themselves. And now, probably the worst thing ever in recorded history of the giant internet fishbowl and social media, where comparison is not only limited to your immediate sort of city or town in group, it's literally national and even worldwide instantly. So um, there are quite a number of different forums for you know, comparing yourself to others. Now, I think because it is so prevalent and is such a strong impulse with people to compare themselves to others, that you're probably not going to be able to eliminate it in yourself uh, entirely. I think that you will be able to significantly reduce its impact on your life and to manage it, but I think it's going to be virtually impossible for you to 100% eliminate self-comparison, uh, or rather comparison of yourself with others. I think that's going to be just about impossible. But our goal today is for you to reduce its grip and not worry so much and move forward with your own life. So uh, in the current uh, well, let's let's visit. I don't think anyone would really make an argument uh, that comparing yourself to others would, is a useful uh, activity or a productive activity. So I don't think many people would say this is a great use of time or a valuable use of your time in terms of engaging in endless or even frequent uh, self com or, you know, comparison with others. Now. There is one very limited exception to this, which is comparison of yourself to others for medical purposes or diagnostic purposes uh, with you and your doctor. That can be useful to make sure things are going okay for you uh, or not, unfortunately. So there is one exception that you would have where comparing yourself to other human beings uh, has a valuable or productive purpose. But otherwise, um, I think everyone would agree it's a complete waste of time. And for no other reason than this, that every, every minute you spend researching or looking at or analyzing someone else, you are not focused on improving yourself and moving forward. Therefore, very inefficient, very unproductive, and ultimately very negative for you. So how do you manage or minimize this incredibly strong uh, impulse and attraction that human beings have for comparing yourself to others? Well, very first question to ask, whenever you catch yourself, kind of like an addict sneaking a drink or a pill or something, like you're, 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 you're looking at Instagram or Facebook or you're looking around uh, or you know, you're on a, uh, at a family gathering and you're comparing yourself to others or a gathering of friends, you will catch yourself if you watch this <laughs> and you'll see, wow, I'm comparing myself. So one thing is to be self-aware that you're doing it. I think it's so ingrained with people they don't even think about it. But when you catch it, Catch yourself in that. Ask an immediate question as soon as you, you do catch yourself, right away. Why am I doing this? Okay. Why am I doing this? Why am I engaged in this? What, what am I looking to get out of this? And if you start asking that question every time uh, you engage in that behavior, or at least most of the time you engage in that behavior, you're going to start to, to really break the behavioral association. Uh, one, I think you're not going to be able to come up with any actual answer to that question. Why are you worried about this comparison to others? Why are you doing it? Um, those are some very difficult and uncomfortable questions for people to ask. But if you do that at the time you engage in self-comparison, then I think you're going to start breaking that behavior and you'll start finding that you do it a lot less frequently. Because no one likes to answer that question. And the more you force yourself to confront it, uh, I think that you will find that you're going to start doing a comp comparing yourself to others a lot less frequently. Okay. Uh, practical tip number two. 
Eliminate all social media. Just go cold turkey and eliminate it. Now, some people may say, well, Brian, you have a YouTube channel. That's true. I do have a YouTube channel. And I do have a Facebook channel for business purposes. Those are for business purposes only, not for social um, sort of social comparison or socializing. Not at all. I don't maintain any uh, social media accounts for that reason that I think it ultimately leads to a lot of time wasting and very self-destructive uh, comparison. So yes, eliminate social media. If you want to use it to communicate for business purposes uh, and getting the word out about yourself, your organization, uh, that's a different sphere entirely and is not a sphere that usually deals with destructive self comparisons. Okay. Third thing that I think is very important in terms of managing or eliminating uh, this very negative sort of impulse that we all have of comparing yourself to others, which is, um, what is the real backstory? So I found over the years that when I see someone who appears to have it better than I have it, and it could be in any area of life, it could be in several areas of life, it could be in one particular area of life, there is often much more to the story where their life simply isn't as rosy as it appears. In fact, what is interesting is the people that I am sort of idealizing are not idealizing themselves and will candidly tell you A, B, and C about the hardships and difficulties in their life and candidly why their life may suck. Okay, Even though I'm thinking, wow, that looks great, that looks awesome. So I think um, you need to spend some time investigating and asking questions and learning about what is not so ideal in the person you're comparing yourself to. Now, I want to be, I mean, I make a very important distinction here. I'm not suggesting that you look for petty flaws or to bring someone down or to engage in gossip or to engage in demonizing this person, you know, to sort of quote unquote, cut them down to size. So their achievements or their persona is not as great as it perhaps seems. That's not at all what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you really need to understand uh, more of their story and about how, despite your idealization of them, their life is not ideal and actually could have a great deal of difficulty that you may not want in any size, shape, way, or form. Many, I could go off of endless examples here, but for example, the late Stephen Hawking, the renowned Cambridge physicist, the prize winner, uh, an incredible mind to be sure. But I don't think many people would have liked his, his physical afflictions that he had, which were so just insanely severe and, and just horrifically bad. But he had an incredible mind. And I think many people would love to have a mind uh, that was, any, quite frankly, anywhere near that good. Um, Bill Gates, very successful businessman and philanthropist, uh, lost his mother. Um, and she did not get to see, she got to see some of his success, but far, far from all of it. So I think you need to look at what is going on um, and why people you know, have certain, or how people have certain difficulties. And again, not to cut them down to size or to make their, their achievements or their quote, betterness than you uh, seem less, but to really become fully informed. And then quite frankly, you're not going to be idealizing them or comparing yourself. In fact, you may look back at yourself and say, wow, that's not the bargain I would want in terms of looking at their life and seeing what they had to take to get to where they are. So anyway, I hope this uh, gives you some practical insight on how to tame the ferocious impulse of self-comparison uh, so that you can improve your life and move forward. Please uh, uh, like us, follow us, uh, leave your comments below. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.